Lord, oh. I got to say, Whew. this was some major stalkery skit up on this movie. Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with Fatal Affair. We were laying in the bed, right? Said we were just going to watch it. Yeah. Because we've seen this storyline a thousand, thousand times. times. Yes. No intentions of reviewing this, right? It's 11.15 at night. <laughs> I had a whole bonnet on. I said, you know what, uh, Stanley said? Let me see how much battery juice I got on the camera, right? <laughs> I said, let me go ahead and slip this bonnet off, fluff out my crochet brace, and throw on some eyebrows so I can look halfway decent, because we're going to talk about this, yeah. Lord, uh, I got to say, whew. this was some major stalkery skit up on this movie. So I like that the storyline is consistent with the yeah. fatal attraction yeah. and all of that. But this one came with a little twisty, 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 twist. Yeah, they just And I enjoyed it, and it was yeah. believable. Yeah. Like, it kept you on your toes. So let's go ahead and get into it. Nia Long played Ellie Warren. Ellie Warren is a lawyer. Oh, spoiler alert. We're going to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. So, so if you haven't, haven't watched it, it, yeah, go watch it first, then come back. Make sure you watch it on Netflix. Yeah. If you don't have an account, get your girlfriend, your boyfriend, somebody's sister's account. Bar borrow their password and the username. And just watch it. And yeah. then come back here. Exactly. Okay? So Ellie Warren... Played by Neil Long, she is an attorney. She works in the big city, but she has now bought a, purchased a home out in the country with her and her husband Ice. that's on the water. Ice. Private Ice. beach, all that good stuff. She wants to leave the city behind and settle down and open up her own firm where everything is just a little bit slower yeah. and so that her and her family can be more intimate because the daughter has gone off to college. The husband is um, played by Stephen Bishop, and his name is Marcus. The daughter's name is Brittany. We go to um, Ellie's job, right? They're working on this big case. And they was like, oh, we would like to introduce you to this new guy that we brought on to be able to get into some emails and get us the information that we need. Turn around, it's a guy named David. Well, immediately, they knew each other. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, well, we don't have to introduce y'all. Y'all know each other, right? And she was like, yeah, we went to school together. It's been about 20, 20 years. years. And so they chopping it up. Instantly, you could tell that there was some kind of chemistry between those two, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Okay, this is this this is where everything just gonna go to hell in the handbasket." Yep. Okay, so he kept trying to, well, we should go out for this, and we should go out and do that, and every time that he invited her somewhere, she had something else to Dude. do, right? So eventually, they came down to, well, why don't you come out to have drinks with us? It's a girlfriend's thing, but she wouldn't mind if somebody else tags along. Okay. So I was like, really? So Ellie gets to the bar. Gets to the spot. Homegirl Courtney calls and was like, I'm so sorry, Elle. I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm stuck here at the office. But by this time, hmm. David is already there. So that just leaves her and David alone to have drinks right up his alley. Yep. So now he's able to connect with her, have some banter back and forth, find out the weak spots in her marriage and in her life and where she's... <laughs> Not happy and all yeah. this good stuff. That's when I was like, you talking too, too much. God darn much. Yeah, you knew this dude when he was in college. But, you but it's been now. 20 years. You don't tell nobody the most vulnerable parts of your God darn marriage. Yeah. That's when you start, the, the crazy stuff starts to happen. So, they have had one too many drinks. So, they decided, you know what? She said, if we have any more drinks, we're going to have to do it like we used to do it back in school. So, they ended up at, at an after-hour spot. At the club. At the club. Just God. getting it in, just dancing, having a good time. And I'm like, you got a whole husband. They won't dance. They house. was grinding. They were grinding. Like they was in a full-fledged relationship, man. Husband texted her talking about some, how's Courtney? How's drinks with the girls? She texted him back talking yeah. about some. Courtney says, hi. Yeah. I'm like, I'm so like, here we go. You just are digging a hole for yourself that you're not going to be able to peep your head out of later. So things just started still getting hot and heavy. As my husband was saying, they were on that floor grinding. They was grinding. So there was nothing else to do but either get it in on this dance floor or take it to somebody's room. Huh. That's how hot it was getting. Yep. Right? So it came to a point where they were getting ready to just like lock lips, kiss, do all that stuff on the floor. And Ellie was like, mm -mm, uh, I ain't going to be able to do that. So back. she went to the bathroom, trying to get her stuff together. 
who busts in the bathroom with her? Of course. David. Yep. David comes in the bathroom, gets her up on the vanity, and pretty much did everything but stick it in. And he almost, if he, he just couldn't get his, pant, his zipper down fast enough because he got the drawers off. Off, not to yeah. the side. Yeah, all off. You know, usually it's pull the panties to the side. But it's your game. Yeah, so maybe he spent too much time. I said, Ellie. <laughs> I'm like, you got a whole husband back at the house? So she was like, you know what? I can't do this. I can't do this. And she got up and she got up out of there. She called her Uber, went on home. Came home. You could see regret all over her husband. Yep. He turned over. He was like, I didn't even ain't know you was home. I said, okay, Allie. Maybe this ain't going to come back to bite you today. Yeah, if maybe. You just keep maybe, it at this. Yeah. So David is constantly hitting her up from this point on. Hey, you know, we connected back there. Da, 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 da. Call me back. We need to talk about this. We need to do this. We need to do that. She's ignoring him. Like, to the point where she eventually had to block his number. Yeah. Okay. So, he's not taking a hint. But you forgot. He still works with her. Yep. At the firm. Right. So, they ended up having a dinner over at their house. Her <laughs> husband was like, what you want to eat? She said, you know, we're going to cook some salmon. And we're going to have Courtney come over. And we're just going to chop it up like we used to do back in the day. Courtney shows up to the house <laughs> with... A plus one. Who's the plus one? David. And I knew I had I knew a it. feeling that he was gonna come, and I was like, "How in the heck did he end up hooking up with her?" David has stalked this woman so hard that he don't begin an imaginary relationship with the dead going best friend. Yeah. So that he can get in good enough, so that he can be invited to places where, where she is at. in her. Freaking home. Yeah. That's how that's how you know that you are a crazy zombie. When you come to the house where her husband is, not knowing if this thing gonna go south. What 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 if he asked questions? What if the husband asked questions about the night they was out supposed to have been out with uh Courtney? Yeah, because what if she had came home yeah. and told her husband yeah. about this? And she'd been like, No, nah, I won't dare. Yeah, it, it was a lot it going was, on. So they're sitting outside just chopping up, and you could tell that Elle was like, what the hell have yeah. I gotten myself into? <clears throat> so that became a time where Ellie was like, I need to go in the kitchen. Courtney, can you follow me for a minute? And Dave was like, oh, no. Sit I got down, it. Courtney. I got it. I was like. And I was like, bro, you, you, you letting, you more, let, you don't know him. Marcus, you don't know, you don't know him to be going in your house with your wife. Yeah. And she told him, she said, don't you ever. Yeah. In your life. Do nothing like this ever again. Leave my house. Leave my family alone. Do not ever come back here. I was like, but he was like, but what we got is so special. special. I was and, like, and, what? And we really connected. And we could just go back to how we used to be 20 years ago. And she was like, we were nothing 20 years yeah, ago. We, we just went to school together. I we, mean, he's snapping on her, calling her his ex-wife's name. Yep. I was like, what the hell is going on? So eventually, they left the house, right? So as time went on, Alex still can't get rid of this dude. He's like the Steve, like Steve Urkel on steroids. Just showing up out of nowhere. He showed up in the middle of traffic, stopping traffic to talk to her. Talking about, so can we get coffee? Can we she get was like, I already had me alone. So Ellie knew at this point, she was like, you know what, this dude is crazy as hell. But she didn't know how crazy he was. Yeah. In the middle of the night... This dude, because he's a hacker, he can hack into any computer software, which means that anything that's controlled by a computer, he can hack yeah. into it. He hacked which, into... Which makes me wonder, too. Her front door. She had one of those electronic keypads to yeah. open her front door. He walked right up to it. Zip. Let himself in the house. He in the house, then went through her lingerie drawer, <laughs> sniffing her lingerie, stole a piece of it, yep. standing over top her bed, like, bro. I said. And then he installed a camera. Yeah. In a bedroom. But I'm. I, uh, I said, what the hell? But I'm like, I, maybe because I'm a light sleeper, I can hear noises. I can feel people. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. God, talk. So he's still having this relationship with Courtney. Now, Ellie is trying to let Courtney know 
Dude ain't who he said. He, he crazy. Is. He's he crazy. Cray cray. But he sold Courtney a story to tell Courtney. It he was in reverse. He told me all about you. That how you tried to seduce him. Mm -hmm. That you tried to get with him at the club. All of this. Typical narcissist. Yep. Turn it all around. Turn it right on you. How you gave him the underwear and yep. how you've been texting him. So every text that he sent her, he changed he, it around he, in his phone yep. to make it look like she was sending it to him. I said, oh my God. Which is kind of scary though, if people can do that for real. They can do it for real. That's that's crazy. I mean, you can really set somebody up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So then he had went, he didn't went and go. He hacked into the nightclub's security camera and got footage of them Yum. grinding on the floor. It talked about some, I'm gonna send this to your husband if you if you keep up this nonsense. Yeah. Maybe maybe because it it wouldn't mean, you know, uh say hindsight is twenty twenty. And the whole time we kept saying, Tell your, your husband. husband. I, I know it's bad, but this dude is getting more and more starker. It's it's beyond your power now and your control. You got Because this dude snaps, it's just you and him. So you need to tell your husband. Huh. I, you know, it's going to be bad between y'all. He's going to be mad and upset. But this thing's going too far. Yeah. And I kept hearing Funky Dineva said, don't let nobody else spray you with your own tea. You tell your own tea. Where tell you, it. Yep. Where you can control the narrative. Exactly. So Ellie was like, you know what? At this point, she had to learn some more things about Mr. David. So she went to his old employer. I think it was his old employer. Yeah. And she did some snooping around. What's the old school? It was it was somewhere. Wherever the lady that knew him. Where she he, knew him. Well, listen, y'all. Come find out that homeboy pretty much fashioned his whole entire life around the imagination yeah. of being with her. Yep. His ex-wife looked exactly, exactly just like, her. like her. And the lady told her, she was like, you know, he's a good guy, but I heard he was kind of unstable. His wife said that he had a temper, that he was very controlling. Yeah. And rumor has it that... Mm, well, you do know that his ex-wife is dead, right? So she Ellie was, was like, like, what? So Ellie got to look it into the case. And when the when the, the series first came on, we saw a girl grinding on a dude. Mm -hmm. Dude disappeared out the scene. Girl yep. went looking for him and then both of them dead. Yep. Well, that ended up being his ex-wife and her new boo. You see where this is going, right? So Ellie was like, okay. Let me get some more skit. So she started following him, and I knew he knew that he was that she was you following. following him. Yeah, I was yeah. like, for real, if you're gonna do something like that, why don't you just rent a car, go to budget? Yeah, he know what to drive. Yeah. So she's following him, and he is going to play golf. But guess who he going to play golf with? With the guy Don husband. I was like, how in the hell? How did he did get, he get the husband with number? But he, husband. But he a hacker. He maybe maybe he got it from Courtney. I don't know. So, we're getting deeper and deeper into a conversation. Husband is spilling a little bit of tea about how yep. they used to be in counseling, how they felt like they were drifting apart, and he had this accident where he was in a body cast for six, six months. months. And, and I said, did David do this? Yeah, Real made me wonder. David yeah, was he the one driving that car to hit him? So, she, <laughs> Ellie is sitting in the car looking like, ain't this about a blip. Yeah. He is having a whole relationship with my husband. Yep. I said, okay. Okay, I see you, David. So then later on, Ellie ended up trailing him to his apartment. So now she knows where he lives. So she ended up, and this was real cute. She got, went up there to the um to the lady at the front desk and was like, this is embarrassing, but I was here this morning. I don't know if you remember me or not, but I left something in David's apartment. Do you think I could grab a key and retrieve it real quick? She gets into his apartment, gets the snooping around, and pulls up his laptop. Why is his password her name? Yeah, and, and how she was so easy to get in his apartment. Yeah, that was scary, though. That was scary, man. Gets into his laptop. Now, mind you, he has a whole entire dark room. Yeah. Dedicated all, all this servers and computer screens. Dedicated and, to stalking yeah. her. Yup. He has pictures of her and her husband in the bed. Her and her husband on the beach. Her and her whole entire family. family. Yep. Her daughter. All of their intimate moments. He has like 4K. Yeah. Video and pictures Everything. of this. Yup. So, Ellie almost got caught in his apartment because he came back. 
But good thing he got a telephone a call, call from Courtney. Courtney. Yeah, and wasn't Courtney, for that. Courtney wanted dinner. Ellie got out of there and she hit up Courtney. She was like, Courtney, I know, I know that you don't believe nothing that I got to say. But if you don't ever believe me now, believe me now. Yeah. Dude ain't who he say he is. He's been stalking me. He got pictures of me. He got this, that. Because she had tried to send him up, send herself. Ugh. She had tried email. to send her email. He yeah. went into that, deleted that. Yep. So she finally got through to her friend. And her friend was kind of looking at David a little like, oh. Yeah, yeah maybe this, yeah. Until she grabbed the phone and saw all the pictures. Uh -huh. And then she was like, too late then. Yeah. Because he had already gave her, her lingerie. They ran that, having good old sex at Ellie's lingerie. Lingerie. The lingerie he stole from her house, he gave it to Courtney as a gift. And they ran there just smashing and I'm still saying, why haven't you told your husband yet? It's going too far. I was like, darn. To the point that you got your friend in All danger. All wrapped up in this. Yeah. When you could have been in it by telling your husband, it, it, it wouldn't even been that, went, went that far. Because <laughs> if, I don't know, man. So, now Courtney's in too deep. Yeah. She's letting it be known that something is up. And he told her, Courtney, don't, don't worry about that stuff. Her boss told me to take those pictures because she wanted to make sure since yeah. she was leaving her firm that she wasn't trying to take no information with her, that she won't be in dirty with the firm. But it checks out. She she in the clear. She all good. Courtney was like, mm, I don't believe it. Yeah, not no pictures uh, that, that kind of pictures that she saw. Well, by that time, it was too late for you, Courtney. Yeah, yeah. He done knocked her the buck out. You hear me? I thought he killed her. I thought he killed her, too. I, I was like, because you didn't, Tell the cops or tell your husband you got your friend killed. But good thing she won't dead. So but Ellie she could have been dead. Ellie was like, let me get over there to my friend. But I'm like, you're doing all this. You ain't got a knife, a nothing. taser, a nothing. gun. No, nothing. So she gets over there. She finds her friend on the floor just smooth out. Don't. Call the detective. Detectives come over there. So this is when she finally has to tell her husband yeah. what's going on. And her husband was like, I'm disappointed. I'm yeah. mad. I'm mad as hell and I'm hurt. But he was like, you didn't sleep with him. I always told I you. I wish you did. At this point. <laughs> yeah, off all It would have made sense. Yeah. At least put the tip in or something. <laughs> but for the way he was acting, but the husband was like, my life is not complete without you. Like I told you before, you stuck with me. And she was like, and you stuck with me. So they pretty much, this didn't ruin their marriage. But it's yeah. going to take some work to get back to where they were. To trust you again. So they have police posted up outside of their home because they know now that this dude this is crazy. crazy. So they can't find David. David is nowhere to be found. They went to his apartment. Nowhere. So later on we see this homeless guy laying down on the ground. Has some similarities to David. Yeah, look looked, very I mean, similar. I mean, rough, but yeah. he looked like David. Um... Then we see David out on the beach. It looked like it was out there where Ellie and them live at. Yeah, it did. He's out there flickering with a lighter. Clicker, clicker, clicker. But there's a propane tank right no there. No propane, it was gasoline. Well, gasoline? Yeah, gasoline. Flammables. Yeah. Right there. And I said, just blow yourself up. Just just do it. I actually thought he was going to go take it to the house and blow up them up in the house. That's what I thought he was yeah. fitting to do. Or wait for Ellie to be gone. Put the gasoline tank in there and blow the whole house up with with uh with a drone in it. Yeah, room. with everybody in the house. Well, the next day, there was someone out there on the beach with their metal detector, just you know finding coins and you know valuables and whatever. Machine goes smooth off. Yeah. Pro the the gasoline tank. Body out there just charred to skip. Skeleton burnt skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> So the police, of course, are talking to Ellie and her husband was like, you know, there was a suicide note left. There was a confession of the murder to his ex-wife and her boyfriend that he had left with his therapist. He admitted to everything. It's his handwriting. Everything checks out. Dental records are going to take a few weeks. Um, but we're pretty confident that this is him. So now everybody is like, who do kill himself? So He's off. I said, no, nope, that's said, too easy. That was too, too freaking easy. Easy. Yeah, too freaking easy. So months went by. Yeah. I was like, okay. 
Well, maybe. But that's what you the stalkers do. They disappear to make you think you're safe. I said, where the hell he go for two months? Yeah, he make you think you're safe. So two months go by. They get ready to celebrate Thanksgiving. Ellie and her family is prepping dinner the night before. You know how black families do. Yep. And she gets a telephone call from her assistant, Linda. Linda is played by Estelle. And was like, we need some documents signed two nights before Thanksgiving for a case that they're working on. So she leaves up the, out the house. It wasn't quite dark, 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 but it was dark enough. Yeah. And I said... Too dark for her to go by herself. Because your office already looked creepy to me. Yeah. Too freaking dark for me. So she goes to the office, and when she pulls on the door, the door is kind of like... And she's looking at the door like, I was like, and you still won't take your tail in there? No, not only that. Like, it was it was dark. dark. So I'm like, if Linda is there waiting for you to sign papers, why, why the go? lights ain't on? You can still walk. walk and she walked right in there. Linda on the flow, she's dead. Yeah. So at this point, she was like, what the hell? Now Linda's phone is calling her, but Linda is on the floor dead. Yep. So Linda, she answered the phone. He done took Linda's phone. And he talking about, so you left your family at the home at the house by themselves? I was like, dang. So she rushing trying to get back to the house, but she calls the detective and she was like, he is not, not dead. dead. He is not dead. He is at my house. But I actually thought the detective was going to not believe her. I did too. I thought she was not going to believe her. Because first, yeah. But I'm glad she did. <laughs> he don't went over to the house. He don't kill the, the daughter's boyfriend. boyfriend. That's the first thing she saw. And then she was like, where is my, my daughter and my husband? I thought he had killed them, but he had them tied up. Yup. They got into a tussling match and they did this and they did that. Cop came out there. They thought that they was in the clear. Like, who cop is here? He gonna come to rescue us. He don't kill Tim too. He killed the police officer. But they only sent one. But that's always a, fam a famous line in movies is. like this. The is that the cops show up and they, either they either they show up late or they show up on time to get killed. So yeah. I, I I didn't I know that they, they weren't safe. I already knew that. So when she realized he was dead, I was like, take his freaking gun. Gun, yeah. Oh, his handcuffs or something. His goddamn a club or something. Homeboy grabs her from the back as she is in shock of looking at this dead cop. And he pretty much giving it to her. Pop, pop, pop. She had a knife. He don't got the knife away from her. Eventually, she stabbed him. That ain't do nothing but just nah, make him the more boy ain't mad. Yeah. He pulled the knife out. And he goes and gets the gun from off the cop's body. Of he, course. He didn't shoot nobody. But it, the way it ended was the way it needed to end. He was trying to... Well, he... They got into a tussling match. Yeah. And they ended up over a cliff. He slid off the cliff. But he was holding on to Ellie, trying to make Ellie go over. Yeah, he was him. pulling... Yeah. I mean, he looked at her dead in her eye, trying to pull her down. And the husband, because he had did something else to him... And he wasn't nowhere to be found, so the husband finally got up to his wife, pulled his wife back, and let him fall off the cliff and die. And the first thing I thought, I would say, this this ninja still ain't dead. He fitting to get up on this beach. I said, I need to see a body. <laughs> I need to see a body, I need to see a toe tag, and I need to see some flowers. All I got to say is, wow. if you in the cheating game, don't do it. This is a very much of a clue of this movie right here for you to, to cut your losses. And go back to your husband or go back to your wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Because you just never know if you're cheating with a narcissist, man. Man, but I'm going to tell you a what. A stalker is not yeah. narcissist. I don't know what fountain of youth Nia Long is, is drinking from. Yeah, because she still looks the same. But we need directions, baby. Yeah. Because that girl looks good. She looked the same. What was she in? Uh, Love Jones. Yeah. In, uh, I mean, everything. She looks the same. Um... Uh, I girl said soul food. Yeah, soul, yeah, food. soul food. Yeah. And the other one, best man. Yep. That's my favorite movie. And she look at the same. And everyone. And everyone. Dear Lord, you look good, girl. Yeah. I said, Lord, on my apps, why did you play this freaking role? Yeah, man. Said, you, yeah, you got together once again. Because I don't know if he ever <laughs> played a role like this, you know, before. I mean, he played some thug roles and stuff and some, you know, lover boy roles. In some of the movies, but yeah, but this I've right never seen here, straight I crazy. Know, like yeah, this. I, yeah, I don't remember. This is some of uh, Michael Ely's type of stuff. He would have been yeah. perfect. <laughs> yeah, but they probably be like, 
probably didn't use him because he done played in so many movies like that. Because I still ain't forgave him for what he did to them kids. Yeah, throw them kids out the window. Mm -mm, I ain't yeah. never going to look at him the same. Never. Album. But yeah, this was this was pretty good. Like you said, we thought it was gonna be the same old stalkerish type of movie. I mean, it was. Which, it, which, it was it was it was the same but different. You know, they had a few different twists. Yeah, he but was, it was a, good. He was a different type of uh, stalker. Yeah, and yeah. then at the end, she was like, you know what? I miss the big city. Yeah, so they we're gonna sell that joke. <laughs> they sold that house, and now they moving back to, <laughs> to the, the city. city. I said, don't you let that crazy fool run you up out of your dream. I guess they say if he alive now, he got to come find us in the city. Uh-huh, but we got more witnesses. Yeah. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.